Welcome back to H3 Weapon Deep Dive. Today, we have finally made it. That's right, we are on to our first fully automatic weapon that I've reviewed. We've gone through the automatic pistols, we've gone through the revolvers, and now we're up to the machine pistols. And the first in the machine pistol is the M1912 slash P16. It is chambered in 9x23 Steyr, and it is a really unique weapon because it has a stock that is permanently attached to it, and it has an integrated magazine and is clip fed. So you feed it in like that through the top, not once, but twice with these eight round clips, and then you're good to go. Let's check it out. Let's take a look at the controls on the 1912. Not much in the way of controls. In fact, there's only one control. It's really strange. Up on the trackpad is the safety set slash selector switch. Say that five times fast. So uh, in this position, you can see it's safe and it actually will lock the slide. One press gives you single shot and another press gives you uh, full auto. Here it is, safe, single, full auto from the other side. Here's how you load it. You can do one clip on the top as such. Take that out and another clip like so. And you can put a third clip in, but you can't push it down. As soon as you try to push it down, it pops right back out again. So that doesn't work. Then there's no slide release, no hammer cock or decock. Uh, you can't disengage the physics and spin it around like cowboy guns for that matter. Uh, you can only grab the slide and pull it back to release it. And that will also cock the hammer. And so there you go, you're ready to fire. Again, in this position, up on the trackpad to get it to safe. So we'll not fire. One down from safe will give you single fire. And another down, full auto, and a third time puts it back into safe. There you go. Can you top off the magazine? Yes. What you want to do is insert the new clip right about here and it will move the slide back automatically to accommodate it. So you want to get about there. There it goes. And now you can add some new ones to it. And if you want to take that out prematurely, now it looks like it doesn't want to go prematurely. Let's see if it'll do it here. No, nope. come on, you can do it. Here you go. And then there you go. You want to pull back on the slide if for some reason you only will want to do a partial load on there. And now you're good to go. See what attachments will fit? Well, needless to say, there's no rails. So you got no red dots and no lasers. Uh, let's see if you can put a compensator on there. No, shoot, no compensators. How about a suppressor? No suppressors. For curiosity, how about a barrel extension? No, can't put anything on the end of that barrel. That's a real bummer. How about a, well, it's already got a stock. Can you put a stock on the stock? No. Okay, so you get a stock, and that's it. Let's look at the sights. Hey, not not too shabby. Pretty pretty small front post there, and a kind of a weird rounded shape cutout on the back. You don't see that very often in pistols, but uh, yeah, there it is. It's not the end of the world, right? Let's see, up on the trackpad and get this thing firing. Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, that'll do. Let's do the recoil test. Semi-auto first, then we'll do full auto. 16 rounds of 9x23 styre with the stock because you can't take it off. Here we go. Oh, not bad. 944. Not only is that not bad, that's very good. Ooh, looks like I was pulling a little to the right. A little down, but that is an excellent group. Very nice. That stock is definitely paying off. Are you ready for the full auto test? Here we go. Just gonna point it right in the middle, pull the trigger, not gonna try and compensate for it or nothing. Here we go. Well, got a 10 and then a lot of fours. Interesting how that works. So that's probably the second shot and then everything grouped up there. So if you were able to 
compensate for that and pull it back down, you'd probably get a pretty decent group out of it. But just as a uh, hold down and blast, well, that's what you're going to get up in the uh, not Not in the ceiling, but uh, probably going to miss your target pretty good. There you have it. The Steyr 1912 in 9x23 Steyr. Our first machine pistol. What a weird one. Till next time, I'm going to see you. Not too bad. Mm. Oh, bad throw.